Okay guys, welcome back to the second episode of Detroit Become Human. I apologize for the commentary in the first episode. I know it's absolutely terrible, but um, as I said before, I'm new to all this, so be patient with me and I'll, I'll get better over time. <laughs> okay. I actually thought that was a real bird. Okay, so these are kind of like him. I don't know if you can call them androids. I like the idea that there's multiple different characters to, to see stories of. This guy has money to burn. Uh. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees. 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Please, Carl? No. Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey. What happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Oh. So who would have thought it'd be the old guy to trust the android? I sure as hell didn't. Hey. 
Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? I think I went too Just far. your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. This is some house. Thank you, Marcus. Television. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? I'm sure. Hmm? OK, Carl. Okay, so we got two, four, five, Jesus. Okay. Let's go a bit of Shakespeare. What are you reading? Uh, Macbeth. It's one of the books you recommended. So, what do you think? Human emotions are intriguing. Though, I can't really say that I fully understand them. Humans don't understand them either. They rule our lives, but we have no idea why they make us feel like beggars or kings. Life without emotions wouldn't be worth living. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. So 
So tell me, what do you guys think of the game so far? Is it something you're going to pick up? I think this kind of game is perfect for a playthrough. It's not really something that everybody's into playing, but has a good story, so... You know, it's nice to be able to see it. So, what's your verdict, Marcus? I'm not programmed to criticize art. I, you would be a much better judge than I would. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. Find a subject to paint, okay. Is that statue? Is it desk? Statue seems a little bit obvious. <laughs> Carl's painting. You know, I'm just gonna go with the desk. That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world, it's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. despair. God. Hey, Dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? 
You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, uh, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer's no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's, what's it got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me.